the supporters club has come a long way. We have become the bride and the role model of all the various supporters clubs around the world. So much so that FIFA rated us to be the best in the world. CAF rated us to be the best in Africa. Why? Because of our way of supportership and the unity that we have in the supporters club. As we speak, like you said, we don't believe there is a chapter. I mean, there is a faction. We don't have a faction. But what we have is a group of disgruntled, dismissed, and expelled members of the club, led by Okumada, who has been dismissed. Two, 15 other members of the club that are on suspension to Abuja and claim that they had an election. That was no election. That was an arrangement on their own. And once you don't want to work with the collectives, you can remain on your own. You can go and form your own. For God's sake, we have a certificate. And believe you me, the Nigerian Football and Other Sports Supporters Club was not registered because we wanted to register that name. I'm going to tell you the story, sir. The story was that when we went to Egypt in, 20, in 2006 for the Cup of Nations, and we paid $130,000 to Afikuyomi, Senator Afikuyomi, who wouldn't bring the plane to take us back. 175 of us got stranded in Egypt. He didn't come back to bring us. I had to call three governors then. But one of the governors responded, and I'm going to say it now, Chief Olagunsuye Oyolala, I won't mention the other two names. They were, they were equally planning to, to respond. But Oyolala was the first to respond and said, Dr. Ladi, well, what do you say your problem is? And I told him 100, 175 of us were stranded. I told him the story. And he said, don't worry. Go to any airline in Egypt. Let me know how much it will cost you to get back. Of course, we had 16 journalists with us who got stranded with us there. And true to it, the second day, Chivo Yilola called me and said, how much is the money? I told him, 9.8 million. He made a check of 9.8 million, a draft that we were going to give to the airline. But I think on the second thought, he told the then president, Chief Olushe Gwabasundo. And Chief Gwabasundo said, oh, oh, you keep your check. I will go and bring those guys back. They've done well. Before I knew it, they came from the embassy to pick me in the hotel and they said, the president would like to speak with me. I was so surprised. And when I got to the embassy, Mr. President said, look, go back to the hotel. Don't pay for your hotel again. Even your feeding, the embassy will take care of it. I'm sending a plane to come and pick you. To me, it was a big, Relief and everybody, when I got back to the hotel, we were dancing. For God's sake. Whatever arrangement was made, Mr. President instructed that 9.8 million naira be paid for us and we were brought back to Nigeria. What more would it be fitting than for me to arrange my people to go and thank Mr. President? And I arranged people, 20 of us, we went to Abuja at the villa to thank Mr. President, and we decorated him. And at that day, at that point in time, Chief Obasan just said, you guys have done well. You have been supporting football. But stop supporting football all alone. You have to start supporting other sports because Nigeria must win laurels in other sports. That was what spurred me to now got up, to then got up, sorry, and registered the Nigeria football and other sports. So both the Nigeria Football Supporters Club and Nigeria Football and Other Sports Supporters Club are our properties. And we are duly and constitutionally registered. As it is for us, we do not believe there is a faction. We only know that there are some disgruntled elements in the club, those who do not want to do things constitutionally. I want to hijack the, the leadership of the club 
forcefully, which we are not going to accept. It's never happening. That can only happen even in the jungle. There are rules. So for me, there's no faction. Whatever you see there, you are only seeing the, the, the pretenders. The pretenders. I do know that very soon they will, they will fade away. And truth will always be constant. The Supporters Club, as it is in Nigeria today, has Reverend Samuel Oyameda Ikpeha as the national chairman. Thank you so much. Uh, because I really wanted to, to be brief in <laughs> some of these uh, things. <laughs> because I'm still having like two or three questions to ask you. Uh, please do. And we have to be very brief. Uh, okay. um, uh, really, is something because when you look at this, all these are anti party activities. Uh, but uh, really, don't you think that there's a kind of back up for, for Okumegba doing all of this? Maybe from the ministry or from the NFF or from other parties party because you kept saying that it would just run back to Abuja and begin to do some other things. And as far as his anti party activities, what do you think could make him have that kind of confidence? Doing what he's doing. Well, we also have the same notion as, as you have because we do know that any little thing he runs to Abuja. And if he runs to Abuja, it means he has somebody backing him in Abuja. But I want to say everybody that must preach equity must come with clean hands. We can still tell you a story of how Chris Giwa's purported election and that of Amaju of the worry election. We can still tell you the story. I am one of the people that took part and I did 31 programs to say that Chris Giwa's election was illegal because I was there. And I can quote the minister verbatim what he said that day. Not the present minister. I mean that minister, what's his name? Danagogo. Dana I can quote him verbally, verbatim what he said. Whatever he said that day, was suggesting that there was not going to be any election. There was not going to be any election. And I got up from my table. I went to meet the secretary, Musa. I said, well, you have had the minister. There should be no election today. And I moved out to join the minister to welcome the Falconets. But that same night, we had it that there was an election. And the Giwa polled 27 votes. I started laughing. If there were only five delegates, who? are the 27 people that voted that I equally spoke against it. For me, in football, I say the truth. And when the election in, in, in Wari took place, I was there live. No matter what transpired, because we know all things, all the antics, all the games, we know. But there was an election. There were eight people there. Ogunjobi, Amanse, uh, uh, what is this man? This uh, lobby man. There were many of them, Cha. Eight. But Diko was the only one that was missing that day. And at the election, first ballot, he didn't win. Second ballot, Amadou won. And what else? There was an election. And I supported that election. And I spoke for that election. I stood by that election. I wouldn't now know why a man like Pinnick will be supporting illegality in Vincent Okumagba's arrangement, not an election. That's why I said, whosoever must preach equity has to come with clean hands. So from wherever is getting his support, of course that will fail later. It must fail because truth is always constant. Supporters Club is on its own. Supporters Club club run its affairs with his money. Look at it. The last match in New York. We paid our way to the stadium. The one in Yaoundé. Pini called me and said he was going to give me three seats on the airplane that they, they were taking to, to Yaoundé. I said, three seats? I got back to my members. They said, no, they won't go. They won't go. You should keep his seats. Didn't you see us in our hundreds in Yaoundé? I was on my legs from Uyo for two days with my members to Yaoundé. And we supported the team. We came back for three nights. We were there on the road. That is the commitment. That is what the Supporters Club is all about. It is not for anybody to want to steal 
money from government or, or from unsuspected Nigerians. For us, we have decided to support the cause of Nigeria through this means of supportership and give Nigeria a very good image and positive image like that. Not just for us to start, government bring money. Let us take money from this. If for 62 years we have been there to support the cause of this country selflessly, I think we should be commended. Okay. Talking about uh, commitment now, I must commend you because I know a lot of things that you have put into all of this. Thank you. I was personally in, in Uyo uh, the last time out to play <laughs> South Africa. Yes. And we realized that uh, support, supportership was not uh, yeah. really massive in that game, and which eventually lost to South Africa for the first time in the history of football. We lost to South Africa on home soil again. And we realized that, you know, when we played Cameroon on the same pitch in Rio, the stadium was lively. We saw support. What really happened? Because we didn't see much of supportership when it comes to playing South Africa. But when we played Cameroon, we saw everywhere was strong with supportership. Was, what was the problem? Were you not there in South Africa? Uh, were you not there in <laughs> South Africa? Or were you there, you just decided to lie low? Or what really transpired? It's very unfortunate that people do not know what the supporters club is made of. Go on and ask from Alaji Yusuf. Hmm? Alaji Yusuf, the then chairman of the NFA. Go on and ask, oh, of course, we have worked with uh, late Omerua, late Ikasabo. We have worked with uh, Galadima, uh, Adamu, Lulu, Sunny Toro, Ogudobi, and the rest. We had very good relationship with the NFA or NFL. Even Margery, we had a very good relationship with this board. Unfortunately, I have not seen a board like this that will say, I am the president of the NFF. My brother, senior brother from the same worry, must be chairman of supporters club. This is the problem. This is the problem. Before that march in Uyo, I was at the Musum Center. And uh, Pini came in as the president of the NFF. And when he was going out, he wanted to address the press. He said, Dr. Ladipo, I don't want to see any faction in New York. I don't want to see Okumaga. I don't want to see Vincent. You, Dr. Ladipo, go and conduct an election and resign before we do to you what we did to Isayato in CAF. I laughed. I laughed. The supporters club is not his business. He doesn't fund us. We are doing it because we have the love of this country and we have the interest of the game here. It's running in our veins. It's not for anybody to come up and just start telling us nonsense. I told it to him when we, when he, we met in, 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 in Yaoundé. He said he saw a program which I did where I said it was a crisis. I said, yes, I said so. Have you forgotten what you said at the Muslim Center to me, a man of going to 70 years, you a boy for 45 years, and 42 years in football, for God's sake. And everybody that has played football in this country will tell you, I don't make a ball from football. Rather, I spend my money into the support of football. I don't need that money. Canon Wankwa will tell you, I come them in my hotel in 1992-93 before they went to the World Cup. Shekwa Debami will tell you what we did for the Green Eagles before they could win the Cup of Nations of 1980, and several other stories. When I, I said, you are the cause. He said, he said it sarcastically. How can you be sarcastic about that? When you saw me, a man of almost 70, a man that has given everything to football and sports, his money, his time, even at the risk of his life, you will now tell me, get out before we do to you what we did to Isayatu. I laugh. And he said he doesn't want to see us in you New know, York. We have seen the result of that one. But because this country is greater than anybody, we have decided not to look at what he said, not to behave like he behaved. We still love this country. 
we will continue to give our support selflessly to this country. We all cannot be ministers. We all cannot be chairman of NFF or president of NFF. We all cannot be in the Senate. But all of us as Nigerians must give this country a befitting and positive image. And that is what we are doing all around the world. So, looking at all of these things now, the supporters club, because I can see you have passion, because you grew from the ranks and <coughs> to, to where you are today. Mm. What is the way forward now? The way forward is simple. The man who had has been punished. If he believes that he can still want to work with us, let him come to us again, toe the line of the law, of the constitution of the supporters club. But if he so decides that it is good for him to stay away, we are not bothered. We will remain who we are, but like I do say, constant is the truth. Very soon, they are pretenders, they will fade away. Welcome to Fossville Luxury Hotel. At Fossville Luxury Hotel, we offer excellent service. Our rooms have all the necessary facilities to make your stay comfortable and memorable. You will also have access to internet service, breakfast, 24-hour power supply, poor condition, free international calls, free time pumping service, and free car battery charge. So what are you waiting for? Quickly visit Fossville Luxury Hotel. We are located as number one at the Nirobar Michele off Rajirazaki Road, First Estate, Amuwo, or the First Tag League. For more information or reservation, please call us on 080 75 or 080 90 You can also take advantage of our online ongoing promo at www.fossvhotel.com to make your reservation and payment for your favorite room, which attracts a discount rate. Please note, rooms are reserved based on first come, first serve. Fossvhotel experience the home of comfort. They come, they come.